Ciao, fellow travelers. Today, we are whisking you away to one of the most magical and romantic destinations in the world, Venice, Italy. This floating city, with its winding canals, historic architecture, and vibrant culture, is truly a living museum. So, pack your virtual bags and join us as we explore this stunning city. Hello, I'm Trinice West, and this is my husband, Kevin. We recently retired, and our channel is all about our retirement journey and our travels throughout the U.S. and around the world. Join us on our adventures. So, we left the ship, and we were on our way to one of our favorite cities, Venice. We planned to take a trip up to Venice, so we needed to get to the train station. However, the taxi drivers wanted to charge us 65 euros for about a 15-minute ride. So we walked right past them, down this ramp, and went to the subway station. We went to the ticket machine and purchased two tickets for one euro 30 cents each and spent only two euros and 60 cents for both of us and saved about 63 euros, which is about 67 U.S. dollars at the time of this recording. Score. We arrived at the train station in Naples. Our Trinitalia train tickets had been purchased in advance online, and we were on our way to Venice. The train was very comfortable, and it was wonderful looking out at the Italian countryside. We arrived in Venice and headed towards the water taxi. We saw some amazing sights along the way as we traveled on the water taxi. First stop, our Airbnb in Venice. When we lived in Italy before, we would always take day trips to Venice. I was really looking forward to actually spending the night in Venice on this trip. So we just made it to Venice and we took the water taxi over from the train station and we are in our Airbnb. Um, it's down a couple alleys, <laughs> but Kevin did a good job of getting us here. So, very nice, very nice place, very spacious. So, I guess this is a little sitting area here. Yeah. Got a TV on the wall, looks like you have air conditioning. And we do have a canal view, which is very nice. So, you can look out the window to the canal there. Kind of cute, charming. <laughs> And nice equipped kitchen. There's a table here for 
an eating area. More windows, a lot of light coming in this particular unit. And looks like they have a microwave. I know sometimes I book places and they don't have one. <laughs> and I don't find out to after the fact. Um, lots of things there for you. Oh, woo. Oh, it lifts up. <laughs> that was a surprise. I went to open it. And uh, yeah, it lifts up. So cool. So here are the cabinets. Yeah, they lift up. So that is cutting boards. Like they've got glasses, things like that for you to use. And lifting up again. You see they've got cups. Looks like sugar, maybe coffee for you. But since we're here in Italy, we will be taking advantage of getting the cappuccinos, which are just delicious. Over here, I love how the Europeans hide their appliances. So here's a refrigerator. Uh, nice size. Um, the European standards. And it looks like this is a freezer here. So this is definitely a place you could come and stay for a while. If you're doing a long-term stay. Unfortunately, we're only here for two days. That's um, trash. And what is this here? Okay, not sure how to open any. Okay, a dishwasher. Nice. So you have counter space here for you. There, a little island. And it looks like there might be additional cabinetry or, or shelves down there for you as well. So very nice, spacious kitchen. Uh, here's a little entryway. I'm sure there's some place there to store stuff. And hooks here. I love having hooks everywhere. So nice. So you come through here. And here is the bedroom. So nice size bedroom for you. Very nice. And this whole unit has a canal view. Now we um, came in. There were... This is two units. There's another unit, too. So I guess you could decide which one you want to do. And then there's a mirror there. And closet space there for you. And let's see here. Oops. And additional closet space and pillows. And it looks like some drawers down there to store more things. So we're going over to, there's a second bedroom, which we won't need. But it's always nice to have that. Um, extra space and another cabinet or shelving there and there and additional drawers down at the bottom chair there lighting and I'm not sure what that window looks out to but I doubt if it's the canal that's a canal over there <laughs> I don't know we have to get out and explore and then here's the bathroom and with the Italians, I know when we used to live here, a lot of times they'll take their tile and go all the way up to the ceilings. This goes almost up to the ceiling. And of course you have a window because a lot of times they don't have ventilation. And um, so you just have to open your windows up for ventilation. And you have, the, of course, the toilet and the bidet. Here is a shower here. There. So there is a nice size shower by European standards. <laughs> And, of course, the mirror and additional shelving there as well. And here is the sink. So, nice um, accommodations. Looking forward to staying here for the next two days in Venice before we head to Portugal. And um, So, hopefully you can come along with us and um, check out this city. Hardware store. So I stopped the video and restarted it um, so the guy could go by with his carts, but 
um, this morning early, about 6.30, I heard a lot of noise, and now I've realized what it is. They're out bringing in the supplies and things that they're going to need for today. Everything has to be pushed around by cart because, you know, here in Venice, you really don't have, like, streets. So uh, it was interesting to see different packages being delivered, and everyone's transporting everything by these um, carts and little wagons. Um, to get things, move things around. But, uh, very nice. I love all the little alleyways. So pretty, so beautiful here. <laughs> Absolutely love Venice. So you have, like here, looks like this might be the butcher. You've got um, wine shops. You have grocery stores, I mean, everything you need in a regular neighborhood is here, just on a smaller scale. Eating in Venice. I have had some great Italian food in Italy, but I really struggle with finding great food in Venice. You probably need to get away from the tourist sections and you absolutely must look at the reviews. There was one restaurant that had below a two rating on Google, so I would definitely check if I were you. We found one restaurant with good pizza, but overall we weren't very successful. We had great gelato, but that's about it. Let me know in the comments below if you were able to find great food in Venice, and please give us some suggestions of places to eat, because we obviously need help in this area. Things to do. There are so many things to do in Venice. However, we only had a few days here. Some of the things that we've done in the past that I've enjoyed are the walking tours to various neighborhoods in Venice and visiting picturesque Murano and Burano. While there, you can check out a glass blowing demonstration. On this trip, we decided to people watch in San Marco Square and take a gondola ride. So we're finally out of all the little alleyways and streets, and we're in the middle of San Marco Square, and it looks like <laughs> graduation day. <laughs> So we're hitting the jackpot on these uh, different specialty events. So it looks like it may be a graduation day, so I'm not quite sure how much of this we'll get a chance to see. So Piazza San Marco. If I'm saying it correctly. <laughs> it's a beautiful day for these guys' graduation though. A lot of people are milling about and this is probably why it's been so busy here. Uh, I know the Pope was here a couple of days ago, and then now you have this, so a lot of events going on in Venice.
Now, for the gondola ride, we use Get Your Guide Tours, which was a little bit cheaper because you're getting a group rate, I guess, and nothing extra. There were some um, headphones that they gave you, headset, but I really couldn't understand or get the, the audio to work. So basically, we had the <laughs> gondola ride. If you look here, you see the amounts that are listed on the chart that they have posted. We spent about 77 euros for the both of us. Um, it was okay. It was a boat. So I guess it's romantic if it's the two of you. I felt like it was one of those check the box to say, hey, I did a gondola ride in Venice kind of thing. So we're on the gondola ride. And uh, this was about 20, 30 minutes long. It's not as stable and sturdy as I thought it would be. You really have to balance the weight out because it's, uh, yeah, tilt one way or the other. Whew. The sun was setting in Venice and on our time in this magnificent city. Tomorrow we're leaving Venice. We're heading to Lisbon, Portugal. It's been a great trip and we've had a wonderful time. And Venice is just as beautiful as I remember it.
So it's about 7, 8 a.m. in the morning. And uh, this is probably the best time of day to be walking in Venice where it's not so crowded. People are just waking up. Workers are out, probably cleaning and setting up for the day. We decided to take the water taxi back over near the Santa Lucia train station. From there, we walked over the huge bridge with the gamillion steps lugging my heavy suitcase until arrived on the street side. From there, we walked over to a bus that took us to the Marco Polo Airport. Our trip to beautiful Venice was over. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment below. Make sure you subscribe so that you can join us on our next adventure in Portugal. Take care, everyone, and safe travels.